Hey there, today I wanted to introduce you to a violin plot, which is a really cool distributional graphic that combines elements of a histogram and a box plot. And the version of it that I've loaded here comes from the GG Stats Plot package, which is uh, which has been created by Indrajit Patil. We, um, we've already installed it, so if you haven't, um, just go ahead and type in install.packages, follow that procedure, get GG Stats Plot done, then load the library. And I'm going to highlight the code here that creates the graphic that you see on the right. So what you see on the right is a violin plot. And if you can just kind of track my mouse here, this is the histogram component. And then inside it, you can see the box, which is your box plot. And you know the red dot there represents the mean, and you have the box plot, um, IQR, and all that information within the histogram, which is really cool. Um, GG Between uh, Stats does a really good job in terms of um, just the aesthetics. And as you can see down here, we use the built-in iris data set in R, and Patil's code generated the violin plot for Setosa, Versicolor, Virginica. We have three species uh, distributed according to sepal length. And as you can see, this is like really a wonderful way of combining those two kinds of um, distributional illustrations that normally we don't get to see. Something else that's really cool that Patil did is to create a statistical sort of an overlay of this so that if you turn off, see here, I, I just said false to a bunch of these comparisons in the first graph. In the second graph, I didn't do that. I took out those options. And so now what you can see here is you're going to get your violin plot, but you're also going to have information that is going to be relevant to, let's say, an ANOVA and doing you know other kinds of um, comparisons between distributions. So that's another wonderful aspect of uh, GG Between Stats. So I hope that you consider the use of uh, violin plot next time you do distributional graphics in R.